And that is correct. Frazier 26 in the win over Northern Arizona. And also Frazier had 30 in the loss to Salt Lake City. Coach Vipers by four right now, 30 to 26, under four minutes to play in the first quarter. So we see Washington, the left-hander, that was a little weak, and the rebound comes down to Edwards. Outlet goes to Jordan Johnson. Johnson goes coast to coast, but then he'll send it back to Edwards. Wide open for the three. Couldn't quite get it. Rebound to Sioux Falls. Mayton got that rebound. Jordan Johnson out of UNLV, 5'11", 175-pound guard for the Vipers. And Terry double teamed on the baseline and then ends up throwing it away. 5% to a 5 on their three-point tries. And, of course, it's Vipers by two at the moment. They've been outscored 14-7 to seven over the last four minutes. We have a three-second. Maybe you'll be coach of the month three months in a row. Purvis hit the uh, technical, so he's got five points. And there's Terry with the follow-up. Do have five steals, only two for the Sky Force. Purvis, former Connecticut Husky, pass it over to uh, Paulo. Now it goes to Purvis with a three right as the shot clock was winding down. Missed that. And Clark comes back with it for the Vipers. They're tied at 50. Clark finds Peyton. Trying to hit uh, Stone down low. Stone fakes one way, goes the other, and scores. And Purvis will inbound it. This is Mayton going one-on-one -on -one against Stone. Can't quite get that one, but Mayton gets his own rebound and put oh, Mayton with it. Got a, a nine-second difference between shot and game clock. Uh, Purvis trying to drive against Frazier. Now with six on the shot clock. 15-footer by Paulo is no good. Offensive rebound. They can hold for the last shot now. There's Purvis going to shoot it for three points. No good. Stone has it with five seconds left in the quarter. Now here's Clark. Going to put it up. Oh, just short at the buzzer. And it happens. Have its way. Yes. The uh, Vipers with it. We're tied at 60 here in the third quarter. Frazier kicks it out for Clark. Three-point try. He was hot earlier. Stone underneath. He's got the offensive rebound. Frazier, and he's short. Underneath is Clark. He scores. Six and a half to play in the third. Apollo driving left against uh, Stone. Terry flashed open underneath. Apollo wants to keep it. Drives, shoots. Stone with a big block. Stone stoned him. And then Frazier got it. Back come the Vipers. Uh, Stone with it down low. Against the big guy, Maiden. Goes up, has the ball knocked away or slipped away. Chance for Sioux Falls to tie on this possession. Purvis against Clark. Finds Terry. Terry had a big first half. He's been quiet here in the third, but Terry gets that tip in. By Clark, and he's got 11, just a shade under his average as a Viper. Vipers lead it by three now. He had 10 in the last game he played for with the Vipers. So Terry against Stone. Terry, hook shot is no good. Crowd really getting into it now. Offensive rebound for Sioux Falls. Shot Blair. clock reset to 14. Yeah, Blair not happy that Vipers gave up that offensive rebound. Here's Purvis inside. Off balance, but Diamond Stone. And a chance now for Sioux Falls to regain the lead. Purvis, teardrop, and that goes in. Seven now, Sioux Falls. Stone goes into the lane, goes up, and scores. Stone occasionally will shoot the three-pointer, though I don't think we've seen it tonight. Purvis, three-pointer, got it, nothing but net. And 71 all right now with 320 to play in the third quarter. The Purvis uh, missed that one rather badly. Ball loose and saved by the Vipers. Here comes Frazier. Razor still with it. Now to go to Tucker to go around over to uh, Clark. Clark's going to return it to Peyton. Shot clock at nine. Peyton's going to set back and sit the three oh. and got it. The Vipers have struggled from the free throw line. 93-88 now. Crowd really into it. Vipers with the win with Clint's the number one seed. There's Purvis in the lane. Picked it outside. 
And we've got a probably heard a whistle, but play continues. We're down to three on the shot clock. Purvis will shoot it. It goes in and out. Good defense. Yeah. They had to use the whole shot clock and took a low percentage shot. So Peyton drives baseline up and scores. And nothing low percentage about. Two balls playing really well. There's Pollard driving to the right side of the lane. He's double teamed. Loses his balance and he's going to call travel. travel. Again, shot clock winding down as Pollard tries to drive inside. They screen off Frazier. Shot clock now down to seven as Pollard goes to the baseline. Double teamed and he's fouled. There I mean, G League teams don't normally play it of these kind of size crowds loud crowds like this indeed yeah so this crowd has been amongst the most boisterous yeah. crowds the uh, vipers have enjoyed all year and like i keep saying they come through late in the game oh nice recovery there yes. by frazier but two seconds on the shot clock no, stone didn't realize it as muta videos gets off the shot i think that'll count and they get the offensive rebound wow wow maybe, maybe a little possession. bit lucky that time maybe a little bit lucky but sometimes you make your own luck there's a Frazier with it inside the lane, gets it off, and a big stop. Diamond Stone.